Hi, hello. This is Anup here. And uh, in this video, what we are going to see is how to create um, Windows BYOD device group and Windows CYOD devices uh, group. So these two are dynamic groups how to create uh, those groups so as you can see i uh, i have already created uh, these groups we will go through it so see uh, all windows byod devices it has uh, one device in it so the, it's a byod device i don't need to manually add this device into this particular group okay if your tenant is in uh, migrated to intune port new intune portal then uh, you can use this um, options we uh, the query which i am going to so, uh, show you so this is my one device and if i go to dynamic membership rule you can see in advanced rule there are two types of attributes i used one is device ownership and the other one is uh, device os type so device OS, OS type is uh, straightforward that is windows uh, that i had shown you in the previous demos how to create uh, windows uh, all windows devices kind of stuff like that okay and uh, this is a new one okay it can only be used um, uh, when you are your tenant is migrated to new intune portal if your Intune portal is um, still a Silverlight portal and the tenant is not migrated, then uh, your attributes won't have this device ownership. Uh, sorry, <laughs> your devices won't have uh, device ownership attribute. So um, we won't be able to um, query that attribute in uh, Azure Active Directory. So this is only possible when your Intune is migrated to new azure portal okay so this is a very straightforward query okay why two two attributes i'm uh, querying over here one is device ownership and uh, i'm checking whether that uh, device ownership is personal or not and um, device os type is windows okay so this is for uh, all windows byod devices okay Similarly, I have created a group for all CYOD devices. Okay. So what is the use case for uh, CYOD and uh, BYOD device, uh, dynamic device groups? Uh, because uh, as an Intune admin, device management admin, uh, we need to uh, target policies and profiles um, uh, to a particular uh, device groups probably we will have different um, different set of policies for uh, byod and uh, cyod devices okay so this these groups will uh, will help you uh, to deploy those kind of uh, segregated policies okay so if you can uh, see my screen uh, there are like if you look at the all windows cyod devices group uh, you can see two devices i have two cyod devices in this uh, in tune okay if i go to dynamic membership rules to see what is the dynamic uh, advanced query, uh, query rule which i uh, which i used so over here uh, it's same thing um, two attributes I am using device ownership and uh, device OS type device ownership value is changed its company okay it was personal in BYOD now it's company if it's a CYOD device uh, it, it is a it is a company owned device okay and uh, Windows is um, same okay so that is a query which I used and if I go to CYOD devices you can see two devices over there okay if I click on that you can see two lap um, desktops okay member if I go to member you can see like OS type and um, these kind of details okay that is it for uh, this video thank you for watching